Hey, what's going on guys? It's Coda. Um, I wanted to do a tutorial for you guys on masking your 3D text in Element 3D inside of After Effects. So let's get started. First, you need to make a new composition and drag in your cinematic, bring it down to the timeline. Then once you do that, you need to motion track your cinematic with um, Buju or the 3D camera tracker or uh, the camera tracker um, by the foundry. Um, once you do that, then you need to um, go up here to your text tool and type in your text that you want to be 3D. I'm just going to type in Coda, and uh, you can put it anywhere. And then once you do that, hit this little I button to turn it off. Then go up to Layer, then go to New, Solid, name this Element, go to Effects, type in Element drag on element to the element layer and then wait for that to load and there we go um, I'm gonna trim both of these layers okay now once you do that take your cinematic if you want an environment and duplicate it then rename this environment name it rename it to environment um, then go up to element go to custom layers custom text and mask go to your text close that out go to custom texture maps go to environment close that out close that and go to seed setup and then extrude and here's your text now you can put on any preset or anything you want I'm just gonna do a simple chrome and um, if you want an environment for your environment of the setting, go up to environment, click the little drop down arrow, go to custom layer one, your cinematic, press OK, and uh, you, sh you should have um, an environment on it. Press OK, and there's your text, and it is motion tracked. I know it doesn't look motion tracked right now, but I assure you it is. So press P on the track null, go up to element, go to group one, particle replicator, then copy your position with control C or command C if you're using a Mac control control V to paste it and uh, do this for all of them that's the X Y and Z and uh, then your text should be where you want it and if you're stuck with the rotation just go to the rotation tool right here and uh, rotate it however much you want uh, it to rotate so that's good and if you if the size is too much then go to particle look and bring down the size and um, yeah then uh, you can position it wh whatever way you want um, however high you know so uh, this looks good uh, so yeah now time for the masking so what you need to do is take your cinematic layer and control D to duplicate it take the top one and bring it all the way to the top then take your masking tool and be at the beginning and um, mask out the object that it's um, that you want to mask out that's uh, over the text and there you go um, now you can press M and keyframe the mass path and do whatever however many frames you want it to however many you want I suggest doing uh, every frame because it's it's smooth it's clean it's perfect you know you it's not you know it's not too much it's not too less you just get it you get it right um and you know I know you guys know how to uh you know mask out your your uh, mask out your objects and everything so you know that's good and uh, I'll ram preview it for you guys to let you sh to show you guys that it is masked out um in everything and uh yeah, I guess I will be doing more of these tutorials if you guys want, so let me know in the comments, and I will take um, suggestions of tutorials of what you guys want. So yeah, here, I'll uh, play it back now. Sorry, the FPS is bad. But yeah, it is masked out, as you can see. So yeah, I hope you guys like this tutorial, and uh, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.